The Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Pod Breed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. There are over 2 million podcasts, but how many of those can massage the mind, elevate the senses, take you to another plateau? Allow me to introduce you to Drea's Point of View, the 10 minute or less podcast that brings you observations and experiences from her perspective. This episode came about from something I saw recently on the show Half and Half, where this guy was dating someone and he had a foot fetish. That made me think of different fetishes that people have. And since this podcast has listeners worldwide, I thought, why not talk about common fetishes and kinks worldwide? I am Drea, the hostess of Drea's Point of View. Thank you for tuning in. I would like to invite you to follow me on Twitter at Drea Point and at Drea's Point of View on Instagram, Facebook, Clubhouse, and Pinterest. If you don't know what a fetish is, it is a sexual fixation on an object. Let's start with the statistics. Having a foot fetish or with another body part is the most common fetish. 14% of people have had a fantasy where toes play a role. The most Googled fetish in Idaho is erotic electrostimulation. Almost 11% of those in Sweden were turned on by voyeurism or exhibitionism. According to one survey, 89% of people fantasized about some form of group sex. Clothing can be a fetish. Skirts or clothing worn on the legs and hips top the list of clothing fetishes. 19% of people get turned on from masochism, which is being physically or emotionally abused. Sadism is a common fetish, which is getting sexual pleasure from having pain inflicted. Group sex is a common fetish. A new one for me is learning that blowing up and popping balloons is a fetish. Sports uniforms or sports equipment that are worn by an individual or their partner for sexual pleasure is a fetish. BDSM, which involves bondage, domination, discipline, and submission, is a huge fetish. Sexual activities involving urine are common. Urophilia porn was seen by 23% of people, according to one study. Smelling, tasting, or wearing used underwear brings pleasure to some as well. There are fetishes listed by state, and I will name a few alphabetically. This list is accurate as of 2020. In Alabama, The yoni egg is the most popular fetish. In Alaska, it is fisting. In California, the most popular fetish is wax play. In Colorado and D.C., Hawaii, and Maryland, it is masochism. In Florida, it's piercings. In Georgia, it is having a hair fetish. In Illinois, it is role play. In Kentucky, it's scene play. In Michigan, it is humiliation. In Missouri and Oregon, it is used underwear. In Nevada, it's armpits. In New York, the main fetish is leather. Ohio likes the uniforms. And Pennsylvania has a balloon fetish. As far as the difference in men and women in fetishes, more men were aroused by fetishes while women found arousal from masochism. More women fantasize about being dominated. 
According to the Journal of Sex Research, more men want to dominate someone, and in a journal of research and treatment, more men found voyeurism to be more arousing than women. What's your fetish? Is it the same as what is the most common in your state? Remember, I don't want to change your point of view, but simply to listen to Drea's point of view. Please make sure that you subscribe to the show and to my YouTube channel, Andrea's Point of View. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for listening to Drea's Point of View. Remember to subscribe to this female-hosted podcast. Drea's Point of View is now available on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Yeah, yeah, yeah.